What's up guys, made it down to Buffalo Motorama 2022. It's been like two years since they've done this, so this is awesome, I have missed this show. So I'm gonna take you guys through the old school room, which is like the old school traditional hot rods, gassers, stuff like that. And then I'm probably gonna split this up into like two videos. I'm gonna do like the upstairs, downstairs, that'll be one video. And then the old school room pinstripers will be their own video. So like and subscribe guys, if you're from the 716, definitely subscribe because you're, we are your car guys you need to know. So let's get into it. A lot to cover at this show, and I know these longer videos don't tend to do so hot, so I'm gonna try to rush this. Comment below if you agree or disagree with that decision. But they always got the Etzel Club here. I love Etzels, man. They were so ahead of their time, so wild. Such neat cars. Such wild cars, I love these. They got a thing for Etzels. They got expensive though, man, but years ago, you could pick these up dirt cheap. They got the push button transmission in the center of the steering wheel. They're just wild stuff they did. copycat this thing's cool though i'm gonna ask him who did his vinyl graphics because they came out pretty good ours were done by express vinyl oh look at that i talked to the owner of the car he's actually really cool the dash is all signed over there really nice guy this car is actually maroon so this whole car has been vinyl wrapped oh my god it's dale earnhardt <laughs> Got some vintage snowmobiles here. My buddy Steve's car getting some looks here. Sorry about the little stumble right there. I had a few pops. But this car is fast and he's done a lot of work to it. Me and this man have had a little grudge on the street for years, but now that he added that little gizmo, I'm probably not gonna run him again. But yeah, no, congrats, Steve. This car's come a long way. Oh, how funny. They put the Jeeps in woman's world. Jeeps, woman's world, makes sense. <laughs> okay, I kid, I do have a place in my heart for Jeeps, but this one is my favorite in the room. You never see these, and this thing's clean. Upstairs at Buffalo Motorama, a lot of cool builds this year, a lot of stuff I haven't seen. It's not from the area, so that's cool. So we'll take you guys for a quick walkthrough. That guy won an award at SEMA. But take you guys for a quick walkthrough. What a killer setup. And he's got the vintage old school Ohio Street, Buffalo Motorama. He's even got potholes. How realistic. Fun fact, if you were a street racer back in the day, man, you know about Ohio Street. That was a big popular Buffalo spot back in the day, back in like the 70s. I know we're 716 car guys, but I, the longer I look at this, the setup was sick, the bike is sick, the Springer front end, look at the seat, all the brass on it, the shifter, the handlebars, dude, this thing is cool. Oh man, I dig it. A lot of cool stuff at this show, guys. I'm going to try to just kind of concentrate on the more oddball, more unique, cool stuff. Just because it seems like the longer car show vids on this channel don't do the best. So like and subscribe, guys. We're going to keep getting into it and check out some of these rides here at 2022 Buffalo Motorama. Ooh. Oh, a little bit of everything in this row. We got some Mustangs, got a Chevelle, got an old Jag, Mustang, got a Ferrari down there. Got an LT1 in this baby. This is an older build, it must be. But it's holding up pretty good. Oh man, I love gassers. This thing's cool. I wonder if we'll take it out to the drag strip, but I'll actually race it, but this thing's sick. Jacked wagon, that's cool, man. Every gasser needs to have a name on it. Oh, he's got a cage in it. He might be racing this thing. This is cool. So we were just talking about gassers. Let's talk about another drag car. Dude, look at this thing. A little Toyota Corolla, got a nice tire on the back of it. Where's yellow? Well, give it that. I'm glad I got that on camera. Yeah, the General Lee's here. You never see those, the big New Yorker. You don't see a lot of these. I've never seen this thing race on the streets or anything in Buffalo, but this thing's cool. Yo, comment below if this is yours. Maybe I'll set up a race with you, man. Curious what this little thing can do. Like I said, I'm gonna try to stick to the more unique stuff. We got a Chevy Love over there, but this truck is so sick. I love this truck. 
I see it around every now and then, but I love this thing. So cool. I've never seen the motor in it, but it looks like it's got a big block in her. How cool. Perfect. Right amount of the patina. And it's like real patina. I'm not a big fan of when guys do like airbrushing and stuff like that. Like you paid money to make it look like that. I'm not a big fan of that. If you are, sorry, but... What an old school, like, street racer build. Just steelies. Nothing shiny, nothing pretty. But what matters is right here. I heard he just put, like, a 434 in it, small block. So this thing's going to be pretty nasty. He's got a cage in it. Last thing, last time I saw this car a few years ago, it didn't have a cage in it. So, dude, this guy's stepping it up. This thing's so cool. Four doors don't get the love they deserve, man. This thing's neat. This kid drives the shit out of this car. Nice little four-door. He's owned this thing since he was like 17 years old or something. He's like 32 now. But I love when car guys do these setups. The old popular mechanics, the old suitcases, the dinnerware. How cool, man. That's neat. Old school Thunderbolt. Real cool resto mounted Mustang with a Coyote in it. This thing's cool. Never seen this car before. I go to like Pittsburgh and Detroit. I don't think I've seen this one yet. But like I said earlier, I've seen this car at SEMA. This thing's incredible. It's got an LS in it. And I do like that he left the ugly duckling front end on it. And I hate to say that, but yeah, that's like the oddball front end. Everyone goes with the banded front end. No, I like that he left that on there. 376 LS. Yeah, this car has a lot of detail in it. Oh, cool. Two really cool Pro Street builds. Got a Nova, got a Falcon, both got blowers, big tires. What more could you want? Both got cages in them, man. I wonder if they actually play with these things. Both got legit shifters in them. Pretty cool rides, man. Fast Eddie's Nova from Lancaster Speedway Empire. Not the fastest, not the nastiest, but this dude's been racing this car since I've been alive. He's like a Lancaster legend. Pretty cool wagon. Don't see a lot of those Plymouth Belvedere wagons. Another wagon over here. Got ourselves a Mustang. That's cool, man. When was the last time you seen a Cavalier wagon? Talking to the gentleman who owns this. Dude, this thing's got 480,000 miles on it. It's a stick. Dude, this thing is cool. I love this oddball stuff, man, because when was the last time you've seen this? Dude, what a neat car. I'm going to try not to film everything, you know, in case you haven't been down here this weekend, but a lot of cool cars, definitely worth coming down. The Head Knocker crew, these guys have been racing since I was a kid. They've always had the coolest rides. Recently, they've been on a blower kick. When I was a kid, this car didn't have a blower, and that car didn't have a blower. He's always, they always do the best burnouts, too, when they leave here. <laughs> Yo, these vinyl wraps are wild. That's cool. I dig that. Evolution Car Club. These guys have been around in the Buffalo area for a while. My God, look at the interior. No expense spared on this build. Holy hell, this thing's nice.
damn, T-Mobile van sounds good. Oh. 